Hello everybody and welcome back to the world famous Midnight Paint and Body YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be blacking out the trim on this BMW 128i. So this car in question here um, actually belongs to my daughter. Um, I call it the Barbie car. I think it's suiting. Um, so yeah, she wants the stainless trim painted in a, a trim black. She's added the black wheels already and little black marker lights. She just kind of wants that look, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and get that painted up. So first thing with anything like that, some good wax and grease remover. Wax on, wax off. So I have no doubt this car has had all kinds of cleaning products used on it. So you can't have any of that on there or your paint is going to fail. So obviously that's the first step. I'm just going to get it nice and clean. So next step, I'm just going to run uh, the first mask around all the edges. And then we'll cover the car up and roll from there. Good quality automotive masking tape. And you might be inclined to think that it's, it'd be better to take all the trim off the paint. And you're right, that would do a better job. But typically with this kind of stuff, it's not made to come off. It's not coming off without getting all bent and kinked and messed up. So keep that in mind if you decide you're going to try that. Just because the, the rubber is black, you don't want to get paint on it. Because that's all good. If you do, it's all going to flake and look like crap. So there's the first mask on there. I'll just bring you guys in for a quick look. So obviously you want it all nice and tight, but not over masked. All right, so next we're gonna just toss a plastic over it. Now obviously not everyone's going to have this type of plastic kicking around, this is automotive masking plastic. Um, if you do, always pay attention to where it says, paint this side up. If you have that side down, the other side's not treated, so the paint won't stick to it. You could be painting away and all of a sudden chunks of paint will blow off the plastic. If you paint the proper side, it doesn't happen. And obviously, if you don't have this plastic, this, this may seem like overkill, but it's not. Overspray gets everywhere. So, you know, newspaper, a couple of tarps, your mom's bed sheets, whatever you gotta use, to cover up the whole car if you're doing this, this type of thing. And this plastic actually folds out to 16 feet. Overkill for this car, but that's what I keep here because I work on a lot of trucks. But you can buy this stuff in 12 and 14, I believe, the 3M product. So next I'm just going to cut out this area where we're going to be painting. So nice sharp razor blade and a fine touch on that tape. For obvious reasons, you don't want to cut through the tape. And that's why I tape first. 
It is some extra materials. And you know, this, I mean, you get what you pay for, for sure, but like this automotive masking tape, you know, I buy it by the case, but this stuff is like six, seven bucks a roll. So it's, it's not cheap, but it's, you know, you don't want to be doing this with dollar store masking tape. Hey, and this is one time I can actually say, if I don't get this car done for the big show, I'm going to lose the whole shop. It's actually Friday today. I'm taking the day off because it's Canada Day. So happy Canada Day. Um, but I guess there's a car show on Sunday. More of the, the younger crowd with these type of cars. So her, her and her friends are taking their cars down, I guess. So. Okay, so we're all masked up. So now, this step, very important. Now this is a 3M scotch bright pad, sanding pad. Now, this stuff has to be sanded. If you just put paint right over that shiny stainless, it's just gonna flake off. You know, any little thing that hits it is gonna knock it off of there. You go to the car wash, use the pressure washer, you're gonna blow all the paint off. So it doesn't need a lot. It just needs that little bit of a tooth for the paint to adhere to. And edges are the most important. Need any of this stuff? Just go to your auto parts store. They'll sell you a single Scotch Brite pad, probably like a dollar or something. So no excuse. Oh, last step before paint. We're just gonna give everything a quick wipe with a tack cloth. This is just like a sticky cheesecloth used by painters. Um, if you're doing this at home, you probably don't have one of these. Again, cheap at the parts store if you want to pick one up, or at least just use a clean paper towel or microfiber cloth would be even better. Just to make sure you got no final dust specks sitting on there. All right, paint time. So I'm going to be using this SEM products, trim black. So this is meant to match automotive trim. So be careful what you buy. If you buy a flat black, sometimes it's way too flat and it'll go kind of chalky and it'll mark up when you touch it. So again, use a good quality paint. Oh, nice thin coat there, so I'm gonna let that tack up for two, three minutes, and then we'll hit it again. So that's the third coat on, so we've got good coverage there now, so I think that's gonna be good. Uh, and remember with paint, thicker isn't better. Um, just go until you know you've got good coverage. It's nice and even. We'll let that dry and make sure there's no streaking or anything. But uh, yeah, we'll come back in a few minutes and if it's all good, we'll probably be able to unmask it because this stuff dries fast. So it's been about five minutes. Let's see this stuff, it really sets up quick. Plus it's nine million degrees outside right now. 
So you can see this trim black, it has a nice, a nice sheen to it. It's more like a satin than a flat. So you see that's where a good quality paint makes a big difference. You see we're still a bit shiny here, so not quite dry. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and we'll get her unmasked. So when you're unmasking paint, you wanna peel away from the paint whenever you can. So there she is, all unmasked. So as you can see, using the correct trim paint, it's got a nice sheen, it's got a really nice finish. I'm using a quality paint. You know, it, it looks like it's factory. It doesn't look like it's been altered. So I think it looks pretty darn good. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of it, if you think that's an improvement to the car. And as always, I just hope that helps some guys out with the projects. Maybe you might want to tackle something like that. And if you have any questions or comments, throw them down there and uh, you know, I try and answer everybody. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you come back for the next video. You never know what it'll be.